day 23 search function excel daily dose basic functions myself dayanand with our youtube learn and earn channel okay today's function is a search function very similar to how we search uh, normally in excel if we are searching we use a control f to find in uh, using the formula we can use this feature called sudden search uh, but this is little tricky formula. Uh, this cannot be simply used uh, with a plain search. We can use this combining with a if error function or a is error function, right? Let me show you what this only search does. Maybe in the next, uh, when we do an intermediate or uh, an advanced session, where I may try to cover how do I club search with if error functions. Okay, so search is uh, searches for text, right? What it does it searches for a text or returns the character at which the search is found it requires three arguments the last arguments can be an optional uh, first argument we need find a text what text you are looking at it can be either the cell reference or you can supply them in the formula like this say i would like to find learn and remember search is not a case sensitive it can take like it can search for uppercase and lowercase it does not differentiate between them and within the text where is that you're going to search this learn so i will refer to this cell i would like this search function to search for learn from this e2 cell now the last argument starting number from where from where you would like to start searching is it from the very first character or the middle of the character or end of the character so you can decide but if you leave it blank it will start from the first character which means entire uh, entire cell will be searched this is very useful formula when you have a paragraph data in a cell and you would like to find out whether the searching item is available or not so I'm not supplying anything for the last for the last argument and that shows seven uh, it, sh it is showing a number which is saying that this item learn is found at the seventh character in the cell you are referring to the e2 right so as long as you get some number which means you are uh, you can be sure that whatever you are searching for is in this cell if it does not give you a number and it says something else it says something like a value or an error popping out then it is clear-cut answer the searching item is just not available in the, the searched cell right so based on these function results you can plan your next activity by combining this outcome to another function like if error function so i have done one uh, uh, project which uh, this formula really helped me in searching for a signature of somebody from email body so that when you when you were searching uh, an email body sitting in one single cell uh, it's a huge body so you can't simply just do a control f and search and when i have 10,000 or 5,000 of data so i can use this search function which can easily tell whether the uh, the signature is there in that cell or not from there i can carry out my next activities all right so keep learning keep learning keep practicing daily so so uh, practice makes man perfect yep thank you thank you for watching that's it for today's video well, let's meet on the next one happy learning guys thank you